hi guys and welcome to my channel in case this is your very first time of coming across my video my name is grace if you're my returning subscriber thank you for returning to watch this video today i want to give you guys a tour of the emo state university okay imsu we are currently inside imsu and i just feel like giving people a tour this is imsu in 2023 right so just relax watch the video please help me like subscribe to my channel also share to any other person you feel is interested to know how Imo State University looks like in 2023 like I said this is the tour of Imo State University currently in 2023 and while we tour the school I'd like to give you a brief history of the school now, Imo State University, popularly known as IMSU, is a state-owned university funded by the Imo State government. IMSU, as we'll be calling it here, is located in Okigwe Road, Ugu Oji, in Owere, Imo State, and it was established in the year 1981. The university admitted their first pioneer students of about 392 numbers on 23rd October 1981. The motto of IMSU is also excellence in service. Worthy of note is the fact that during Rochas Okorocha's tenure as the governor of Imo State, Imo State indigenous were granted free education in Imsu. But the program was stopped sometime in 2016 for some reasons. Imsu current school fees ranges from 150,000 to 180,000, both for new and returning students, but this is dependent on their department. Another thing that we have to take cognizance of is the fact that IMSU was ranked as the best state university in 1999-2000 by the National University Commission known as NEUC. IMSU also took the 10th position in all university rankings. Now this first place now that we are seeing is Lecture Theatre 2 and another thing we also have to note here is that the school does not have large landmark. The school is just so small like inside, I mean it's something that students can easily check. So they don't have much landmass, unlike some other schools. You'll be very, very surprised if you don't, or maybe you've gone to some other schools that, you know, their lands are so huge that you have to, you know, transport yourself from one place to another before you get to different faculties. I mean, once you enter IMSU, and you are touring him so you'll be very much surprised because the distance between different faculties or even departments are just so short this is the most law court guys and we are headed to the agriculture uh, faculty or faculty of agriculture this signpost you're seeing at the front is the faculty of agriculture guys i was like ah, are these people inside like do they learn inside the bush or maybe this is their farm or where they rear animals or something like that i was actually surprised although agriculture has to do with cultivating crops rearing animals and all of that but i was really scared for them because of the bushes around 
Now, Imo State University or IMSU, like we are calling it, has many faculties and departments which are accredited and their courses too are recognized all over the place. Also, the students of IMSU have also been representing the school well, both in and out of Imo State and also in and out of the shores of this country, Nigeria. That is to say that in different countries, you can see the Imo State uh, formal students. Please, if you are a formal student of Imo State, tell me in the comment section. <laughs> and if you're currently an IMSU student, also tell me in the comment section. And if you are a lover of this school and you would like to school in this school, I'd also recommend that. You can as well take your attendance in the comments section, okay? So we are headed to the administrative block right now. Now some people are of the opinion that the school fees is very high. Of course, we all know that the state-owned universities are run strictly by the state government. So the state-owned universities, their school fees are always higher than the federal-owned universities in Nigeria. Just as the state-owned universities' um, school fees are way cheaper than the private-owned university school fees. So that is it. If you can afford IMSU and you like the school, you can as well, you know come school in this place the most important thing is facing your studies and you know getting the required knowledge you came for now this building here is the administrative building so from here too we will also tour different departments and faculties that are at the back of this administrative building one of the things i love about imsu is for someone who just or who is just seeing this, you will not know that this school, as small as the landmass is, comprises of different, you know, and many faculties and departments. I didn't even know that IMSU offers um, human nutrition and dietetics. Yeah, I think I knew about that because that was one of the that was the course I was I wanted to study, right? That was the course I wanted to study. But I didn't know that IMSU has it, although I am not a fan of state owned university. Not like they did anything to me, but while I was seeking admission, I actually wanted a federal owned university because of the school fees. But as I was in school, in my former school, as a student, I realized that IMSU was even running human nutrition and dietetics, which was a course that many universities don't have in their curriculum. So I give it up to IMSU. They have like this place we are going to now is just Faculty of Biological Science. We have microbiology, biochemistry, and all of that. So these are just the departments. Now, I was in um, a discussion with a graduate of the school sometime last year, if it's not almost a year, that was sometime in August last year, and she was, she, the way she was describing the school, I did, did understand this. I was like, wow, are you really sure and all of that? Because I've not entered the school, but entering this school and having this store, I could relate to her. She was like, ah, that she never wants to come to IMSU again. Why? Because that IMSU is just a glorified secondary school. I think it's because um, the landmass is very small. But just like they say, one man's meat is another man's poison. I remember my current colleague telling me that she prefers IMSU to Federal Polytechnic Nekede, that she got admission in Federal Polytechnic Nekede, worry. but the school was so big and all of that was like, I, I can't relate. I mean, I've gone to UNISIC and I know that UNISIC, especially Oka campus, have very large landmass compared to 
federal Pauline Kebe. So she was like, no, that she prefers him to because she could walk from one place to another and not stress herself under the hot sun. You know how it is for Nigerian students. So this is just an example of two different persons, graduates from this school, having different opinions about the school. And this is to tell us that you cannot actually please everybody. What pleases one man might displease another man. So if you're watching this up to this moment and you've not liked the video, you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, share this video too. You have a younger sibling who wants to enter into him, so you can as well forward this video to them. Let them see how the school looks like and let them know if this is what they want to also uh, come to okay even though they are cut off mark determines to a great extent and how much they have determines to a great extent if there was school in imso so we are currently headed to the front gate which we follow through but i would like to end this particular video here okay so we have passed through here before but we are going back to the front gate so in case if you're seeing this Help me like the video, help me subscribe to my channel and bye for now.